Namaskar to the world from Nepal. Today, I don't know why, I am remembering the Stone Age, the Wild Age. It's because even in this 21st century, even we are stepping towards the age of technology. Yes, we human beings are very much educated. We have become civilized. We tried to reach different planet. Yes, we have achieved to some extent using science and technology. We have changed a lot, but we did not change ourselves. Very contradictory type of sentence I'm speaking. We left the forest because human civilization started from the forest. Near rivers. Yes, when we were in in the world of savage, human beings were also as animals. So living in the forest, living with animals, that's why human of that time they hunt animals they kill animals to survive because at that time human had just started its evolution because of this human like other animals were in the forest and this earth was full of beautiful greenery healthy clean forest but the most important organ which we have is our conscience our consciousness and because of this powerful brain and mind we slowly left the life of the forest and came into the world of present where we would like to identify ourselves as a civilized human we have achieved much we have achieved much but we did not leave the habit of barbaric world. We went to school, college and university. We got degrees. We became educated. We explored the different world within this earth and the universe. But whatever the savage habit the human had because of compulsion in the forest and we are following the same till now too. It means in stone age human had no any alternative that's why they used to hunt the animals to survive. But now we hunt animals, we kill animals for our own pleasure. So if we see with this context, are we changed? Did we invite any transformation in our life? Did we really achieve 
success? Did we really follow peaceful life? Did we show any sign and symptom of love for the next? No, we didn't. We have become more dangerous for the animals, birds, insects. We feel pleasure to eat the different organs of animals. What kind of bravery is this? I don't know, my friend. I don't know. Animals is like us. They have blood. They have heart. They have soul. Everything like human beings. So we consider them as the next life. And the living life is important, everyone knows. Yet, we don't respect their existence. We don't love them. Yes, theoretically, we are expressing our idea of love, peace, rights, but practically, we have become nil. We have become zero. Maximum people in this world have a kind of dark interest of having meat, fish, and whatnot. I don't know why can't we be so much sensible because the brain still we have and because of the same brain we left the forest and we came in the world of civilization we have achieved much we changed so many things we changed the world but we failed to change ourselves we really failed to change ourselves so if we cannot change our thoughts, evil thoughts, evil habits, then what kind of change we have achieved in life? This is a big question to the world. I am very much grateful, thankful to you if you are a practical animal lover. Practical means you do not harm any animals. You always raise the voice of animal exploitation. I respect you. But the rest of the world is against it. There are different groups of people who are raising their voice against animal cruelty, animal exploitation. But the insane world considers such people as insane. Now the here question is, who is insane? The one who are fighting, raising voice for animal real rights? Or those who are killing each every second to the next animal? Please, I won't answer, I won't reply from you my dear friend so when I see this kind of barbaric activities savage activities I feel very much blue very much sad 
but what to do? I only can make this kind of video to spread the awareness, to spread the love for the next animals, for the next life. Life is precious. Please check once your children, your family, how much do you love to them? Similarly, the voiceless animals have also their own family. Then why do we forget that they are also like us? They are also with us. They are not for us. The nature, the God has not sent us for our use. There are different types of animals. We were also animals once. And at present, we are very rational animal. We are social animal because we live in society. We live in community. We live in civilized world. If killing the next life is a civilization, then I do not like to be the part of that civilized world where the soul of the next animal is killed for the mere test of the tongue of human. Let's awake our consciousness. Let's think very deeply. Animal are the life, the next life. That's why killing and eating them is not a brave work. The bravery is seen when you and me save them, preserve them, or if we cannot preserve them, then we have no, no rights to harm them too. If we do not harm, then that is also a kind of silent preservation. But very rare people, few groups of people have that kind of positive attitude in life positive thought in life. My dear friend, we have to preserve our this Mother Earth. We don't have any planet B. We have only this planet A, that is Earth. We don't have next planet to migrate. And we are killing our own planet. You can see the effect of global warming in your country. And there are so many causes of being global warming. And one of the most important cause is animal exploitation. That's why please germinate that unconditional love in your heart, in your mind and think about that meek animals, that voiceless animals who like you want to live longer. Yes, the one who has life has to die. This is universal truth. You, me and other animals have life. That's why we have to die. But why we are killing them before their original and real death. We don't have any rights. That's why, my dear friend, see such communities. Try to find such people where you can join your hands as per your interest. There are so many vegan 
there are so many plant-based food animal people. There are so many vegetarian. There are so many, so many beautiful groups. But always try to see that group which really love the animals. Here love means love equally to all. Here love means equal to all. There is no any prejudice, no any biasness that some animals are to be loved and some animals are to be exploited. We don't have any room. We should not have any room of hatred. It means the treatment of ours for all should be equal. When we do have that kind of practical, practical theory applied in life, that is a big program which invites real peace on this earth. Otherwise, otherwise, my dear friend, one day animals, birds, insects will extinct and as their extinction happens, it invites dangerous problems in human life. That's why let's be aware. Let's awaken. Let's awake ourselves for doing some good. And preserving earth and its natural resources is the most important point. So let's not to be delayed. Let's not to do any delay. Let's begin from our own country. You begin from your own place and I begin from my own. Though we do not contact each other, if we contacted, that's fine. If we are in touch, that's the best. But our this unseen love for the animals, our program connect us. And that connection is not the connection with human but the connection with the animals birds also so let's enjoy that campaign campaign of preserving animals preserving mother nature mother earth and its resources let's do it let's think good be good and do good Thank you very much. Namaskar once again from Nepal. Goodbye. Thank you all.